Hey guys, Harsh Grable here from the Fantasy Doctors, and we are going to talk about Manuel Neuer's injury. So, after Germany was eliminated from the World Cup, Manuel Neuer had a little bit of time off before Bundesliga was to resume, and he decided to go skiing and unfortunately broke his leg while skiing, and Bayern Munich has disclosed that he is out for the remainder of the season. Now, if you Read further into the reports, it has been disclosed that he broke his tibia. So your tibia is your shin bone. And unlike your thigh, your femur, um, where there's just one bone that connects to your hip, you actually do have two bones below your knee. Um, if you're looking at your leg, the one, you know, your ankle has two sides, your inner ankle and outer ankle. Your inner ankle is the bottom of your tibia, and then the top of your tibia is like your knee in a sense. And then on the outside, um, you have your fibula, which produces your um, outside part of your ankle or lateral ankle. And so if you're looking at your ankle, you'll see the two bones. And so um, your tibia is a lot bigger and that when you go hook down your knee is your shin bone, which you feel. That is your main weight bearing part of your leg. And unfortunately that is the bone he broke. Now we don't know the nuances of the break. Was it an open fracture or ankle, etc.? So we'll just have to talk in a general sense. Um, most likely it is broken at some point in the middle or upper aspect and it's not actually involving the knee joint or ankle joint. Typically when this happens, people get what is called an intermedullary nail or IM nail. Basically they put a big long nail through the middle of the bone and then depending on other fragments, you might have plates and screws in other areas. Following this, he would stay in hospital for a very short period of time, make sure he doesn't get any infection and that the wound is healing well. And then eventually he'll be discharged home where he'll have to go through a period um, where he's not putting any weight through that leg. Eventually, if they're seeing good healing on follow-up images and things are going as progressed, then he can get to the point where he can start resuming uh, very light activities. And I'm sure we'll eventually see some images in the future of him working with the physios in the gym. Um, the recovery timeline for these, you know, in a best case scenario, a small isolated fracture that doesn't require surgery can still be as long as like 12 weeks. Um, but in his case, you know, we're looking at things like four or five months um, and longer. And so that's why Byron has already declared him out for the season. The good news is, is that I do expect Manuel Neuer to be fully fit for the start of the preseason for Bayern Munich going into next season. Um, and I do expect him to still be the same elite goalkeeper that he has been for, you know, you could say for 10 plus years uh, when he does return. Um, the nice thing is, is again, that he will be having a good extensive rehab where he can regain that strength. Um... And there is evidence that shows that even though players can have a bit of a decline after they suffer a fracture, they still usually continue to play at an elite level following that, unlike things like torn Achilles and torn ACLs, where sometimes these are career ending or, you know, players are playing at lower leagues um, following this. So in short, Manuel Neuer unfortunately broke his leg, likely had surgery, he's going to be out for the season. But my expectation is that he will be back fully fit for next season and the same elite keeper that he was beforehand. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. And I hope you guys are all enjoying the World Cup and have a great holiday season.